Hey YouTube, with this is Karch, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak 4.3.1 with Red Snow. This works on both the Mac and Windows PC. I'll be using the Mac, but this process is exactly the same on the Windows PC. The jailbreak jailbreaks the iPhone 3GS, the GSM version of the iPhone 4, the iPod Touch 3G, the iPod Touch 4G, and the iPad first generation. Support for the Verizon iPhone and iPad 2 should be coming soon. If you're watching this video at a later date, check the description to see if your device is supported. The iPod Touch 1G, 2G, iPhone 2G, and 3G users are out of luck because those devices don't support 4.3.1. This is only a jailbreak not to unlock, so Ultra Snow users shouldn't upgrade if they want to keep their unlock. Also, make sure you back up your iDevice with iTunes if anything does happen and you have to restore. So let's get right into this. I'll be jailbreaking the iPod Touch 4th generation. Camera in the back. Alright, so you're going to need to go to the dev team site and download Red Snow. Or you can check the description below. Download Red Snow from there. Also, make sure you download the right 4.3.1 firmware for your device and have it on your desktop. I have a few links to where you can download those firmwares in the description down below. So check those out. You need the firmware. Alright, so after you download Red Snow from the dev team site, you can have it on your desktop along with your firmware right here. This version of Red Snow is 0.9.6 RC9. So make sure you get that one. I'm sure there'll be other versions in the near future with fixes and more features. So if you're on a Mac, you're going to double click the Red Snow zip and you'll get a folder. If you're on Windows, just right click and unzip. So just open the folder. You'll get these right here. Just Double click Red Snow, open it. Here we go, here's a Red Snow app. Alright, on this, you're going to have your Appa Touch plugged in up to the computer via USB. Have it on. Let's go back to the app. Alright, so you're going to press Browse. And find that firmware that you downloaded, the 4.3.1 firmware for your iDevice. Double click that. And it will say IPSW successfully identified. And you'll press next. And it will process the firmware. There we go. On this page, you're going to have a few options. Custom logos are not supported in this version, but I'm sure in a future version it will be. Down below, there's a few check boxes. Just check. Install Cydia. That's the main thing you need. All right, just install Cydia. And if you want, you can enable battery percentage. I'll be doing that. And just leave all the other options unchecked. So you're gonna press next. Zoom out on here. All right, so you make sure your device is turned off and plugged in via USB. Turn it off. All right, so your device is turned off. All right, so on the next page. You're going to need to put your iDevice in DFU mode. Red Snow will guide you through that process. If you mess up, you can start all over again. So let's get right into this. As soon as you press next, it's going to start, okay? Ready? Next. Hold the power button for two seconds. Then hold the home button and power button at the same time. Don't release the power button or the home button. Now let go the power button and keep holding the home button until I say so. Well for 10 seconds. It's going through the exploit. <laughs> Waiting for reboot. Uploading RAM disk. Now you can let go of the home button. Alright, and it rebooted. That did take a long time, so in the video I'm going to fast forward through all of that. It took about 3 or 4 minutes. Alright. And we're going to go to home screen, and there's Cydia, guys. Just click it. Let it do its thing. It's rebooting. Well, respringing. Here we go. Oh, 
Remember when you enable the battery percentage, just go to settings, general, usage, and enable battery percentage. Alright. There you go. Alright. Then we can go to Cydia. Check it out. On here, you're going to click user. It says you're just a user. That's done. Alright, so Cydia is all loaded up. Jailbroken. You can install programs, tweaks, and themes from Cydia. If you have any problems or questions, leave a comment down below in the comment section. Also, check the description for notes and a full tutorial on this jailbreak. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and look for more videos.